Hi, I'm Anita with Anita's Creation 633. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make my family's favorite chicken dressing. Okay, so we're starting with cooking the chicken uh, and get it all ready uh, to be shredded up to be put into the dressing. So this is what it looks like. I've already started it up. And all it has, it has eight pounds of chicken, has uh, salt, it has a little bit of um, adobo, and that's it. Okay, I'm going to show you the next step. The next step is that we're going to be making the cornbread. The cornbread for the dressing. So here we have the uh, yellow cornmeal. I have self rising uh, cornmeal and then I have two eggs uh, excuse me three eggs a cup of water and a cup of milk and I also have a half a cup of oil we're going to mix all this up and uh, get it ready to be cooked in an oven and I do mine at 375 and all ovens are different so I can't tell you exactly how long it takes for your oven uh, to uh, cook the uh, cornbread so I'm just throwing everything in and now we're going to mix Okay, so I had to add a uh, half a cup more, so that takes it to a total of a cup and a half of water. And this is what the dough looks like. Okay, let me get my pan and I'll be right back. Okay, I've already sprayed my pan with some Pam. And now I'm just going to add the mixture. We're going to spread it out. And we're going to put it in the oven. Um, I'm thinking about 25 to 30 minutes. I'll be right back. So we got about a tablespoon. That's a lot of chicken. Remember, it's eight pounds. Of chicken. We're going to let it finish cooking some more. I'm trying to take you step by step so you don't miss out on anything. If you have any questions, you can always uh, send me a, a message in the comment area and I'll get back with you. But that's what it's looking like so far. Okay? I have the cornbread in the oven and now we have this almost done. So I'll bring you back for the next step. Okay, this is our next step, which is going to be sauteing the vegetables. So we're just going to put a little bit of oil at the bottom. I would say that's about a tablespoon or so. We're going to let it heat up a little bit. I think it would work better if I turned the stove on. But uh, okay, uh, let that heat up just a few minutes and we'll get busy uh, sauteing the vegetables. We have 
one whole, excuse me, one whole bell pepper, large bell pepper. We have two small onions. And we have a whole stock of celery. We're going to saute this. Now this dressing that I'm making will serve about 25 to 30 people. Um, at least that's what it's been serving as far as my family. I don't care where I'm at, these kids will call me up and say, Mama, you know you're in charge of the dressing. I'm going like, yeah, I know. So the two things that I'm in charge of is um, the dressing and the giblet gravy. On another video, I will show you how to make that also. So let's get this thing going a little bit, and I will bring you back with your sauteing. Okay, so the cornbread is ready. I've already started to uh, break it up, as you can see. I'm using a potato masher, so that way um, it breaks it up a lot better. And for me, it's faster, and it's, the cornbread's still hot. So I don't want to burn myself. And the point to this is that you need to really break it up really good. You don't want no big old chunks of it in there. So. As you see, it breaks it up very nicely. Alright, let's start adding some of the um, broth into it. I still have it nice and hot. You have to be very careful because this is really, really hot. You don't want any children around when you're doing this. You don't want to spend your holidays at the hospital. You know, the preparation of, uh, of all the ingredients is what tastes the longest, but after that it goes pretty fast. It's funny because, you know, now that the children are, well, my children are grown, you know, they want to know how to do it. So I go and tell them, and they will argue me up and down that that's not what I had in the, in, as far as ingredients. And I'm going like, you were never in the kitchen to know. So this is how I do it. Yeah, but we don't see this, or we don't see that ingredient in there. I'm going like, but it's in there. So, yeah, it's funny how they... They'll argue with me, and I said, I should know. I'm the one that made it. But Mom, no, this is the way it's done. So this is what I'm going to continue doing until I got all the broth in there and um, everything is well mashed. And I'll show you the next step after I come back. Okay, so you see that I've got it all mixed up now. Now we're going to add a stick of butter at room temperature. While this is still nice and hot. Wipe my fingers off a little bit here. And we start mixing that in so it will melt into it. You're thinking that it's too soupy, but that cornbread will absorb all this liquid 
and you won't have a dry uh, dressing. Okay, now I have uh, two large eggs. I'm going to scramble them up in, in the container really well. I'm going to put it in there. Okay. Mix that well. Let me get a spoon. Mix it in there really well. Make sure you get all the corners and everything. Okay, now you remember the vegetables that we uh, saute, here those are, and we're going to put that in here. Now if you think your children won't eat this because they can still see it, you know, you could actually put this all in a blender, blend it up into a liquid, and still have those vegetables in there. And the flavoring. You know, us moms need to be a little sneaky. Or let's just say cooks. Because there are a lot of guys that cook. All my boys cook. I've got two of them. They all cook. Pretty good if I do say so myself. Okay, let me mix this up really well and I'll be right back. Okay, I have a full cup of breadcrumbs. You can make your own or you can buy them already made. Okay, and now we're going to mix that up. We're going to mix it all up really well. You know what? I think I'm going to add another half a cup of breadcrumbs. Let me get this mixed in and I'll bring you right back. Alright, now that we have it all mixed up, we're going to add a half a cup of evaporated milk. And a half a cup of whole milk. And mix it all in. So if you want to do this dressing, I mean, and impress somebody that you're trying to impress, this will do it. It takes work, but it will do the job. Mm 
Okay. Give me a minute. Let me grab the rest of the stuff. Now we're going to add some black pepper. That is two teaspoons. As you can see, two teaspoons of black pepper. Mix after each addition of, of your seasoning. It looks like a lot of black pepper, but you forget we got eight pounds of chicken in here, plus the cornbread. It's not a lot. If you don't like black pepper, you don't have to put it in there. Anything you see that uh, I put in here and you don't like it, you don't have to do it. Or, like I said before, you can put everything in the blender, blend it up, and you'll never even know it was in there. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to add some salt to it. As soon as I can find my salt. Hold on. That's a Again, a teaspoon. And if it needs more later, then we'll add some more later. But we're going to start with that much. All right, let me mix it up really well, and I'll be right back. Now that we got it all mixed up, now we're going to the next step. I have two tablespoons of garlic powder. Two tablespoons of onion powder. Yes, we have onions in there, but this helps the flavor a little more. And one uh, tablespoon of cumin. Okay, let's mix that up really well and I'll bring you right back. Now that we have it all mixed up, we're going to add two tablespoons of sage. It smells awesome. And it's not even cooked yet. So we're going to mix it up really well. This is why I said I start anywhere from a day to two days before because it takes some preparation. You want something to come out really good, it takes some work. Some people just can throw it together. I don't like throwing it together because I want you to be able to taste everything in there. Everything. And we haven't even added the chicken yet. It smells awesome already. All right, so now we're gonna take a large can of cream of chicken. It doesn't have to be that brand, but take a large can and just put it all in there. Let's get all that goodness out of there. So we're gonna take a spatula.
Yeah, things are so expensive nowadays, you don't want to waste anything. At least I don't. Okay. Got that in there. Now we're going to take a small can of celery, cream of celery. And we're going to also put that in there. Okay. We have that in there. So, let's give that a very good mix and I'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to blend up. And this is where my dressing comes out different than everybody else's. I have a uh, three-quarter cup of pecans and half a cup of raisins, pecans, pecans, however you pronounce it. And I'm going to add a little water. First, I'm going to blend it like this dry to help break up the pecans first. Then I'm going to add a little bit of water to liquefy it. And then I'm going to add this to the dressing. So hold on while I mix this up so you don't hear all the noise. Okay, so I blended it up. I added a little bit of the uh, chicken uh, broth that was still left over. Now we're just going to add this to it. And then we're going to add a little bit more chicken broth in there so we can get all that goodness out of there. Okay, so I've done added all that mixture in there, cleaned out the, uh, the, the uh, mixer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding the meat to it, which is the chicken. And it's up to you how much of the chicken you want to add to it. But I done diced it all up, shredded it, and now we're adding this to the dressing. Now if you're allergic to nuts or anything like that, don't add it. You don't have to add it. But it does give it a nice flavor, nice earthy flavor. I'm going to save some of my chicken so I can make my uh, gravy. But it doesn't take much chicken for the gravy. And because it's so tender, I can just hit it with the spoon and it breaks up. Now, let's mix this all into this. It smells great in here. Like I said, if there's any of the seasonings or vegetables that I've added to this you don't like, or allergic to, you don't have to add it. It'll still come out just as good. Now I did add a little bit of an accent in there. I put a tablespoon of accent and a tablespoon of adobe seasoning because it's got extra seasonings that I didn't put in it. So uh, I did that and I'm just going to mix it and put it in the pan to put in the oven. I'll bring you right back. Okay, it's been, it cooked for exactly 35 minutes. Now it's done. Now we're gonna taste it. It's still kinda hot. It is so good. You can taste every bit of the seasoning, the vegetables in there. Still very moist, big chunks of meat, a must to make. Again, my name is Anita with Anita's Creation 633. Please try it, like, share, and comment on my video.
and let me know if you tried it. I think this would really make a big splash in your holidays. Until we see each other again, bye.